from the card reader at the grocery store to the airlocks of the International Space Station, from Siri on your iPhone to those unbeatable chess-playing robots. Computers and automations work smoothly in almost every part of our lives. So smoothly, we hardly even have to think about how they came to be there. But imagine if we did. Like, you're sharing a calendar event with a friend, and suddenly someone pops out from behind a tree and says, hey, you like the way that event looks? How it shares the time and location directly to your friend's calendar? How it appears seamlessly on your phone and your computer? I made that. Or you're buying a new product online and someone slips out from behind your couch and says, hey, you like how that website tracks your shipment? How it sends updates to your email so you know exactly when your new Snuggie will arrive? I made that. Or you're playing chess with your best friend, like you do every Saturday. But unlike every Saturday before, they win the first game. And this friend has never been that great at chess, so at first you're happy for them. But then they win the next game too, and the next one, and the next. And after seven straight victories, a robot bursts out of their open mouth and says, hey, it was me all along. Okay, hopefully not that. But if you talked to those other sneaky experts, you might find they have something in common. Before they designed your GCAL or SnuggyStore.com, they likely studied software engineering, a specialty that brings together math and science, language and good old-fashioned critical thinking to solve problems with smart technologies. Hi, I'm Vanessa Hill and welcome to Fast Guides, a study hall series that explores different college majors. Stay with us to find out how you can use a software engineering degree to write the code that runs the world. Software engineering is a branch of engineering that focuses on developing software products, using the scientific principles, techniques, and procedures that every engineer loves. Let's break that down a bit. Software is, basically, the set of instructions that tells computers what to do and how to do it. It's often made up of programs that perform specific tasks, and they're carefully designed with computer code. If your laptop, all its keys and screen and internal chips, is the hardware, software is the invisible code that makes it functional. Software runs your applications, updates your email, plays your music, and turns on your video camera for an online meeting. Again. Now, engineering is the practice of inventing, designing, and building new things using tools like math, science, and creative thinking. Civil engineers take this approach to bridges and roads. Aerospace engineers design airplanes and rockets. And product engineers make such great innovations as the cozy, fashionable Snuggie. Software engineers use this same process to create the apps, websites, and programs that make our techie world go round. So, while software Software engineers get along great with mechanical engineers and computer scientists. It's a field all of its own. Software engineers combine the strategy of engineering with the bits and bytes of computer brains to build creative digital solutions to all kinds of real-world problems. And because computers and other electronics are used in almost every industry, software engineers are everywhere, managing traffic signals and spaceships and morally grey chess robots and everything in between. Software engineers work through a development process with end users in mind. They ask big big questions about how software should work in everything from traffic lights to chess robots, working to design programs that meet their users' needs. Then they work with specialized tools to turn those designs into reality. The development process will look different, depending on whether you're building a medical billing program or the next level of Stardew Valley. But whether you want to be Nintendo's newest game developer or Google's greatest cloud architect, software engineering students start with similar courses. Software engineering programs can vary a lot depending on your school and the track you choose to take. But you might start with some foundations in engineering, with courses that introduce you to the processes all engineers use to make cool, new, functional things. 
Then you might move on to courses that focus more specifically on software engineering, which teach you how to plan, design, and construct software for different users and industries. You might also learn more about the software engineering industry itself and all the different roles software engineers can play, like how front-end engineers focus on user interface, while back-end engineers focus on the program's core functionality, or how some software engineers specialize in certain tools, languages, or devices, while others work as project managers, overseeing the entire development process, or how artificial intelligence is changing the way software engineers imagine and build their projects. Along with those engineering courses, you can expect to learn a lot of math too. Engineering, in general, is big on numbers. Since the days of Roman aqueducts and Mayan calendars, engineers have used numbers and formulas to solve incredible challenges. And even though your computer can do the calculations faster, understanding the math that your software will use helps you know what you're asking the computer to do and finding new, better ways to do it. You might start with foundations in calculus and physics, and then dive deeper into discrete math, linear algebra, or differential equations to support you as you tackle new coding problems. Even though you won't be solving for x every time you write a line of code, appreciating numbers helps you understand the work and make friends with your computer common interests, right? In addition to your classes, most software engineering programs require a capstone project as the final step on the way to your degree. By then, you'll be planning, prototyping, and programming like a programmer. You'll get to use everything you've learned to develop an app, website, or program that shows your teachers and future employers your new programming prowess. But how do you know if a software engineering degree is the right fit for you? If you're already interested in web development or game design, it might be an obvious choice. But even if you're not a lifelong computer nerd, there are lots of qualities that might make you a great fit for software engineering. Software engineers spend a lot of time figuring things out, discovering problems, and testing different solutions to see which one works the best. So your problem solving and troubleshooting skills will be put to good use. You'll need to be patient, persistent, and detail-oriented, so you can figure out what works and what doesn't and come up with new ideas. Software engineering is also very collaborative, with teams working together to accomplish goals and deliver products and updates on time. So we even though you'll spend a lot of quality time with your computer, you'll need skills in people teamwork too. And it is important to be interested in computers, programming, and coding languages. After all, you and Java will be spending a lot of time together. Just don't tell C++, it gets jealous. Even software engineers who work on the big picture, like product designers and project managers, need to know the details of coding to make sure things run smoothly. So make sure you're ready to fall in love with computers. But maybe not like that. And of course, if you've already built a computer game in Scratch, made a sweet custom layout for your Tumblr blog, or programmed a chess-playing robot and stuffed it inside a human skin, you'll be right at home. But even if you're already the best amateur programmer on the block, software engineering is not without its challenges. There's a lot of them, actually. You're going to be putting your brain to the test with high-level math, logic, and programming, not to mention the logistical challenges of managing your software projects and teams. Software engineering students can be really busy, so be ready to spend a lot of time studying, programming, and creating. Once you find your program and settle on your degree, you'll want to familiarize yourself with the resources available to you, from study groups to tutoring to that librarian who's surprisingly savvy with that EduCat software. That way, you can find help and support before you start hitting your head against your computer screen. In fact, you shouldn't have to spend much time hitting your head against your computer screen at all. With all the time you'll spend fine-tuning your code, you might think that software engineers are supposed to be fail-proof perfectionists, getting every line of code right every single time. But in the field, that head-hitting perfectionism might end up hurting you more than it helps. Technology changes all the time, so the devices and processes you work with are likely to change too. Programming languages go in and out of fashion, and when you're working with clients, even the goal of your project can change midstream. 
You'll work with different users and team members with different needs and skills, and time and resource constraints will change the way you have to operate. In the real world, most software engineers don't look for perfect solutions. They look for the best solutions they can offer their clients with the time and tools they have. So instead of perfectionism, look to time management, clear priorities, and strong communication to keep all your best solutions on track. And after graduation, you'll start to see your hard work pay off. Software engineering graduates can often find entry-level work in fields like application engineering, where software engineers work to improve existing software by working with clients, developers, and other engineers. Even beginners here do pretty well, with entry-level application engineers making upwards of $65,000 a year. And once you're in the field, the possibilities are endless. You might fall in love with app building and become a mobile developer, where you could expect to make anywhere from $90,000 to upwards of $160,000. Or you might feel the power of math and be drawn to data engineering, working with large sets of information and creating tools to make sense of it. Data engineers make around $130,000. Or maybe you'll want to do it all and become a full-stack developer, the jack-of-all software engineering trades. Full-stack developers work on the front and back ends of apps, websites, and user interfaces, and they make around $120,000 a year. So in general, software engineers do pretty well, and the job market isn't bad either. The Bureau of Labor Statistics expects jobs for software developers to grow by about 25% between 2022 and 2032, which is a lot faster than the average of 3% for all jobs. So whatever path you choose, your prospects are pretty good. And while working directly in software engineering is a lucrative in-demand option, the skills you'll get from your degree can help in other fields too. You might use your planning and people skills to become an IT business analyst looking at companies' existing software systems and working to make them more efficient, cheap, and user-friendly. Or you might call on your field expertise to become a technical writer, documenting software projects and explaining how to use the programs they create. In either of those roles, you can make upwards of $80,000 a year. And if you want to move into a completely separate field, your communication skills, attention to detail, and tech savviness will benefit you wherever you go. As you start to study software engineering, you might start to notice all the clever, thoughtful, behind-the-scenes things that computers do for us every day. Studying software engineering gives you a seat at the tech table, where tons of smart people are working together to solve problems, push boundaries, and program robots to dominate the World Chess Championships and eventually the world. Whether you pursue a specialized software role or take your problem-solving skills to another part of the digital world, a software engineering degree opens up wide futures if you're willing to think deeply, work hard, and maybe peel back that robot skin. If you want to investigate more degrees before you choose a major, check out our other videos in this playlist. To find out how to earn college credit with Study Hall, go to gostudyhall.com or click the link here or in the description. And if you want to help us out, give this video a like and a comment to let us know how you chose your degree or what you wish you'd known before you started your degree. Thanks for watching.